Hi, so in this uh, training we are mostly going to use and write Perl scripts in file and save them in file and then run them so we can save them for later reuse. Nevertheless, Perl can be used also on the command line, both for uh, small things and as part of uh, some other code that you have to do, then you, have, you want to run some Perl specific uh, thing. So I'm going to show you an example here, and later in the course uh, we are going to see a couple of more examples. Let's uh, switch to the shell. People who are used uh, to Linux or Macintosh, they know how to uh, use the, the shell. On Windows, this is the command uh, prompt, so you go to the start menu, uh, run, and then type in cmd, and you'll get this uh, little black window which is unfortunately much less powerful on Windows than on Linux, but uh, that's where most of your execution is going to be done in uh, Perl. So we just type Perl and minus V, press enter, and then it will print out the version number of Perl. In this case, we have you see that we are using Perl version 5, and that's everyone is going to use uh, in this training. Version 12. If you, have or if you have version 10 or even version 14, they are all good for this training. And subversion 4, which is usually written this way, Perl 5.12.4, basically any version between 5.10 and later 5.12, 5.14 are good for training material. You can also run this with minus capital V, and then you will get lots of lots of information on how Perl was compiled and all kind of details which are probably not interesting for us at this point, but later it might be interesting, and especially if you have some problem, this can help uh, reporting a problem about Perl. And the last example I wanted to show is Perl minus E, and then in double quotes I type in print 42 and press enter. This basically says that the minus E says that execute this piece of Perl code. So the print 42 is already a Perl script basically, it's just not saved in a file. And when I run this code, it, it prints out 42 to the screen, that you can see here on the left hand side. The same can be run both on, Perl, Perl, both on uh, Linux and on Mac and on Windows, though in Linux people usually put single quotes around this, but I use double code because double codes use work both on Windows and on Linux. This is actually an issue of the environment, nothing to do with Perl, but uh, in the environment, in Linux is better to put the uh, single codes, on Unix is better to put the, and on Windows is better to put the uh, double codes. So that's about uh, the command line, and then next time we are going to already write a file, create a file, the first Perl script we are writing.